A new study led by the University of Texas at Austin analyzed core samples from the Chicxulub crater in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The team used it to assemble a timeline of what happened after the dinosaur-killing asteroid crashed into Earth. Researchers estimate that the asteroid struck a shallow ocean some 66 million years ago, hitting it with the force of 10 billion atomic bombs. The blast set the land ablaze, igniting trees and plants up to thousands of miles away. The impact then triggered a massive tsunami several hundred meters high and moving away from the crater. According to the New York Times, it also catapulted rock into the upper atmosphere. Lead author of the study, Sean Gullick, said the largest debris pieces fell back down to Earth in minutes. Smaller particles lingered longer and fell across North America as tektites, glassy orbs that form when molten rock cools while falling. Charcoal fragments and chemical biomarkers of soil fungi found above sand layers inside the sample indicate that charred remains on land were pulled back into the crater by the receding tsunami waters. Perhaps the most important discovery made during the study is the absence of sulfur in the core, even though the area around the impact crater is full of sulfur-rich rocks. This supports the theory that the asteroid impact vaporized sulfur-bearing rocks at the site, releasing the mineral into the atmosphere, where it reflected sunlight away from the planet and caused global cooling. According to researchers, 325 million metric tons of sulfur is estimated to have been released by the impact. Although the asteroid caused destruction at the regional level when it hit, the impact itself was not what killed off the dinosaurs. Instead, researchers say the global climate change that followed was responsible for the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. Global cooling disrupted photosynthesis, which killed the plants and caused the food chain to collapse. The New York Times reports that early this year, another study found fossils of fish, trees, terrestrial vertebrates, and marine creatures near an ancient lake in North Dakota. Shockwaves from the asteroid are believed to have flung them on shore, where they died buried in mud.